Confucius believes in ancestor worship and human centered virtues for living a peaceful life. That was what our discussion was from the last 942 days. Then go back to your family, to your joint family, to your family tree. But here Confucius says, believes in ancestor worship. Look into ancestor worship. Ancestor worship is Indus Valley civilization crashed because nothing was in written form. Greek civilization flooded because everything was in written form. If the families had got everything in written form, then ancestor worship to take anything from the ancestor and take it forward makes things more easy. Nevertheless, he said still the ancestor worship means do not leave the foundation. Ancestor worship means do not sell your family property. In fact, you have to add into the family property for another thousand years or ten thousand years. The, the whole family gets together and then that's a very peaceful atmosphere. That is where they call it at the end of every meeting. Om Shanti 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 means peace. Confucius believes in ancestor worship. And when he says ancestor worship, he takes things deep inside. That means every one person. When Confucius said they thought ancestor worship is, is kind of a, a worship going on in the temples or in the places like that. He meant ancestor worship means go deeper, dig deeper, use your power. You have the power of a thousand men more here. Use the extremes of your power, physical as well as mental. Don't stop at the smoke. When you see the smoke, that's the time you have to use all your power, full power to see the light, to see the lamp burning, to see the fire. And you become a worship of the fire. And without any in India, in Vedas they say, the fire worship, without any, without fire, they don't do anything. Just to remind the people, you have to get burned in the fire. Everything you have to melt it out. When you burn it in the highest temperature, everything melts and you become a nobody to become a somebody because you become varieties of ornaments for people to make. Yes. Unwisted beliefs and ancestor worship. Ancestor worship means dig deeper into your thought process and make things much more easier for the next thousand years. And human centered virtues, that deep rooted thinking and burning into the fire can happen only if your human centered virtues means you are focused on your particular subject because you, you understand wherever you go, you know you have to come back to your foundation. That human centered virtues is the is a samskriti, is a culture. Practicing the culture and polishing the culture makes you the greatest living being because the whole body is your culture. And if you know your culture and you can just watch your culture and practice your culture, whether it is yoga and yoga in your in your in your religion, whether it is pranayama, whether it is meditation, whether it's bharatanatyam, whether it is Carnatic music, whether it is uh, martial arts. Whether it is growing vegetables, fruits, yes. everything. Whether the, the, the family has decided that you grow tea good plantation, which they can uh, use it after 25 years, or they can use uh, um, sandalwood cultivation, which they get it back in 40 years, 50 years. These are long term. Everything, the mind and the body goes deeper. And to go deeper, the only one thing possible is you have to be in love with your family. And you, you love with your family, some nature auto automatically happens. That gives you a living.